Hey there, it's Jason here from One Hour Forex, and today is August 31st, 2012, the last day in the month. Tomorrow's the first when we got to pay all those wonderful, wonderful bills. Yes, indeed. Um, anyway, um, I just want to say that uh, I learned a new trick here on MetaTrader just the other day. I think it was yesterday. And I want to share it with you. Okay, so you know how you have to double click on lines uh, doesn't matter what object you you click on you gotta double click click twice to move it okay okay well and and you gotta okay you gotta double click to move it around and you gotta double click it to unhighlight it so you can't move it around so would you like to have one click access I know I sure would so you go up here to tools, you click on the tools, and yeah, maybe you can't see it there, uh, that my camera doesn't go that high, and you scroll down to options, okay, you go down to options, and you click on the objects tab right here, okay, then you're going to click select object by single mouse click, okay, um, also you might want to change the mag, uh, the mag, magnet sensitivity, you know, to a higher setting, um, which will, give, I don't know, some pixel, better pixels or something, I don't know. But uh, uh, anyway, um, uh, this this is uh, a little neat thing that I learned today. So now, once you click, check that off and click OK, now I only have to click on things once. See that? One click. One click, I can move the line. One click, it doesn't move. One click, I move it. See, if you double click it, the box will pop up. See? You're so, you, I know that most of you are so used to double clicking on objects on your charts, okay, but now if you go do that, you only have to do it once. whoop de doo Okay, there's the new trick for MetaTrader. It's just amazing how I've been, I've been using MetaTrader since... Uh, early, I think it was January 2006, you know, basically six years now, and there's always something new to learn. <laughs> I was just talking to a coder today, and I showed him this this little trick, and he never knew it either, and he's, he's one of the best coders around, so anyway, we're never too old, too young, or too brilliant to learn a new trick, and, uh, you know, I've always listened to people, whether they're younger than me or older than me, because you never know who and where you can learn something from. Okay, enough with that. <laughs> Let's get on with the setups. Okay, so anyway, uh, here, um, here is our 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 4 o'clock candles. Okay, so basically uh, it opened up, came down. Let's click on that. No, no, not double click. <laughs> Move that over. Yeah, re rejected the S1. Okay, if you want to go and see if that was a legitimate trade, let's go see. So we'll take off the auto scroll. And yeah, when I came back up to fill us, okay, it was in the first 30 minutes or so. Okay, so it was definitely a trade setup. Okay, right there on that sucker, right there. As soon as it turned blue, it also rejected over here as well. See? This right here, see they bought right off those two candles. They bought off support and rejected S1. Once it turned blue one pip, you would have got in. Your target would have been 17 pips to the pivot. Your second target would have been up here about 46 pips. As you can see, it only went about 10 pips and it closed with 4.9 4 pips. So you either um, stuck with the trade and it kept going or you did my rule and you got out with about three pips profit, whichever the case, okay? Um, also on this one, same deal, opened up, came down, turned blue, you're, you're, I don't know, if, let's see, hold on. Yeah, there was 10 pips to the pivot, and the second target was 39 pips away. Okay, if you held on to this one, it went to target two and target one. So I just want to say that here is our 8 o'clock, a 9 o'clock, and 10 o'clock candle. This here, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it, a baton or whatever, okay, that's Bernanke. Bernanke's doing, okay. 
That guy talks and watch out. This is what happens in the market. It looks like non-farm payroll today, and it's not. It's just because that guy was babbling some babbling some babble out of his mouth. I want to say other words, but I don't think it's right to swear on my videos. Okay, so there was no trades here, ladies and gentlemen. None whatsoever, okay? And if you think there was one, well, good luck to you, but there wasn't, okay? And, you, and when this guy's talking and this crazy thing's happening, you don't want to be trading, okay? It's like non-farm payroll. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. Um, you guys have a great, great uh, Labor Day weekend. We'll see you on Tuesday. Monday's a holiday. Don't forget it. Don't trade on Monday. It's going to be very, very slow-moving, low, thin volume. Don't trade. Don't do it. Come back Tuesday. Actually, all Mondays now suck anyway because, um, you know, the market, there's no news in the market anyway. Sorry if I keep babbling on here, but it's true. Like I, I, I don't even trade Mondays because there's just, there's just nothing moving most of the time. So this Monday's a double whammy. It's like a holiday. So stay away. We'll see you Tuesday. Have a great, great long weekend.